In the garden of rest, in the garden of Eden, everything Adam touched with his hands thrived. Every tree was fruitful. There was no non-productive plant in the garden of God, in the garden of rest, in the garden of Eden. Outside God's will is a life of struggle. And this is the way to know whether you are going through life outside God's will. If for the last five years, the last ten years, you have nothing tangible to show, you will live in the same house, driving the same car, having the same income. You are going through vicious cycles because the God we serve is a progressive God. Case in point, if you look at the children of Israel, they took 40 good years going around the same mountain. A journey that was meant to be taken for only eight days. God is a progressive God. If you find yourself mark timing, going through visa cycles, you are yet to connect with your rest. You are yet to connect with your purpose. Rest number two means you flow in your gift. There is work, yes, but there is no struggle. In the Garden of Eden, there was work, but there was no struggle. Why? There were no weeds, visos, briars, and thorns. These are things that came because of operating outside of God's will. Adam was created limitless. According to some estimates, the Garden of Eden is approximately the continent of Africa. And this man would walk all over the garden. For your information, he named every animal, every plant, including the animals and the plants on the seabed, inside the ground, the birds in the air. Why? This man was limitless. He could travel the speed of thought. He was not limited by buoyancy or flotation or anything. And you are created knowing no bounds. All limitations are self-imposed. For instance, if you decide you're going to jog, you decide whether you want to do two laps or three laps, you already decide your limit. You've already decided your limit for your financial goals for 2019. If you're doing graduate school, you've already decided whether you're graduating this year or not. All limitations are self-imposed. Now, in God's rest, there are no limits. What that means is, not even you has a clue of what you are capable of doing. In fact, nobody has a clue of what you are capable of doing. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. No mind can conceive what God has in store for you because none of us can conceive God's mind for you.